We need to stop blaming America's soccer players for American soccer's failure. I read an article this week that basically said uh, we need our young players to train harder. It's just not good enough that we won't have success at the national team and club level until our kids are working harder. And while I'm not against Training hard to achieve goals, that's a good thing. That's not our root problem. We're blaming our players, our kids, when we should be blaming the system that fails them. We have a closed USA soccer market or ecosystem that discriminates against most of America. And it's no surprise that that translates up to the highest levels of the game in America. We have 24 plus million soccer players as of 2006, FIFA measured. Uh, so we have no shortage of soccer players. Over 20 million of those players are unregistered players, by the way. And then as far as talented players go, or players who are soccer serious, uh, we don't have a shortage there either when you take a look at our soccer playing population and compare it to countries around the world and their numbers of soccer serious players, I think we equal or top most nations in the world, most of the upper echelon world soccer countries. Uh, the problem is in most of our uh, American soccer hotspots in maybe urban areas or uh, areas with uh, many different ethnic groups, high populations of those ethnic groups, the opportunities are limited. They are based on how much money you have. Can you afford the thousands of dollars in pay to play fees? And what I'm saying by, uh, through my advocacy for an open market is uh, let's create that free to play pipeline that gives these uh, young passionate soccer players a fair chance to work their way up the system uh, simply through their love of the game, through their passion to play and train. And right now we have a system that uh, basically freezes them out, discriminates against them, and it's no wonder we uh, don't see these soccer series, passionate, talented players rising to the top. We miss so many great soccer players through canyons, not just cracks, in our uh, player development pipeline because it's all based on pay to play in the year are picked arbitrarily by coaches who really aren't uh, in their positions necessarily on merit and also money is going to talk so you can't make it on the elite teams without a lot of money and sometimes that could even influence uh, a player's pathway towards the high levels in American soccer. So we need to stop blaming our players. We have so many here that work so hard and that are passionate about the game, we just need to give them a system that they can thrive in, that they have a fair chance in. That's all I'm saying. Let's just open it up to all people so that everyone can be on equal footing from the start. And then from there, let's see who earns their way to the top. The rest of the world does this and it's no wonder that they excel in the sport. The sport is wildly popular at the club and country level, that they're producing dozens of great players versus our one or two every four year cycle. So blaming the players, we just need to drop that. Um, again, I think maybe people mean well when they say that, they're not necessarily um, you know, trashing our players, but uh, it's really, uh, we need to study the landscape of American soccer. If we don't understand that soccer is a huge sport here, uh, that there are millions and millions of soccer serious fans and players here already, um, we're not going to understand the root issue. I used to be in a place where I thought soccer was a small sport in the USA, simply because I grew up in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, and while we're a pretty big city, it's hard to get a sense of the landscape of American soccer, just uh, how many serious soccer fans we have and the potential we have to pull things together with an open promotion relegation ecosystem. But then I just started asking the right questions and I consulted people that were experts or were in different areas of the country and, um, and I put two and two together and just realized that we've got the raw potential here. We have everything you need to be a world soccer superpower. Um, 
we just don't have the structure that can facilitate it. And that starts with our U.S. soccer governing federation. The sport here has been here for over a century. Uh, we've had great clubs. We've had great players over the years in American soccer. The one common denominator, the thing we've never had, is a governing soccer federation that is truly united uh, all people and clubs together under one fair ecosystem. And that's what we're asking for here with a promotion relegation USA soccer pyramid. Uh, equality, not just from a sporting and competition standpoint, but also from a social and economic standpoint. You can't divorce the two. Sport is an industry. It's not just a game or just entertainment. So uh, it's a great cause to get behind. Keep speaking up. We're doing a great job. We're getting closer to breaking this system open for all. And that's all because common people like you are standing up and making your voice heard. Eventually, we're going to get to a point where uh, the pressure will topple the current infrastructure of the system over and we'll get an open system that's open and inclusive for all. So if you like this video, make sure to share it out across social media. Make sure you subscribe to my channel right here and I'll talk to you soon.